hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in this video i'm gonna cover objects in javascript it is a very important topic here inside javascript basically object is a collection of property and a property is an association between a name and a value a property value can be a function in which uh, in which case the property is known as method uh, basically in this video I'll cover the following topics uh, for the object like uh, how can we define the object how to access property of the object how to get all keys of uh, object suppose uh, you define an object uh, with uh, some keys or uh, some property how can you uh, grab all of the keys uh, at a time also we'll check for specific key like uh, is uh, this uh, the specific key exist inside our object or not next one i'll cover access uh, keys value using variable uh, in this case i'm not going to use a dot operator uh, we'll use a, a variable uh, for access any uh, value of specific key next one uh, access key value if key has page suppose uh, you define an object and inside its key you are using a word suppose uh, you're having an object name called person and person has uh, the key or property called hobby name so hobby name is uh, uh, the two word which has space between them so how can you uh, uh, how can you get uh, the value of uh, this type of key we'll look on it also i'll cover how can you add new property suppose uh, you had defined an object and uh, 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 with uh, some keys and after that uh, you need to add some new property uh, to the object so we'll look on it also how can you delete any property or any key from the object next one uh, i'll we'll see pass object by reference and value also uh, after that i'll cover how can you get value using the function so uh, in, inside function you will pass uh, the name of specific key and it will return the value uh, of uh, the particular key and uh, next to one i'll cover the handle like if no key exists suppose uh, you're requesting for the value for, uh, for the specific key and uh, when you are fetching the value uh, your uh, your program will uh, uh, at, at that position uh, came to know like uh, there is no key inside uh, inside this uh, particular object so how you will going to handle it next thing uh, we'll see how can you access value from uh, the nested object we'll cover uh, nested array as well also how can you delete item from nested array after complete all of these to topic um, i'll uh, solve two exercises. first one is like remove duplicate number from an array using object suppose you are having an array uh, which having some duplicate number so how can you uh, remove all the duplicate number or how can you uh, how can you uh, achieve a new array like uh, which have uh, the unique numbers only so i'll cover this topic using object also next uh, exercise i'll cover get value of specific key on behalf of another key in object suppose uh, you are you are having a function and inside function uh, you pass the specific key uh, suppose you have a person uh, which has uh, a two key called name and age so on behalf of uh, the key name uh, you will uh, ex able to access the value of age as, as well so you will pass uh, uh, like uh, for name key the specific value and on behalf of that specific uh, value it will return the value of age for a particular person so i'll cover both of exercise so let's move to the coding part so here i open uh, playcode.io and uh, here i write some simple message called console.log hello and uh, uh, by using this play button uh, i can run my program so let's uh, start define an object so this is uh, how can we define object so uh, you can simply take any variable 
using let var or const here i'm going to use let so here i'm going to use let person is equal to and after that you need to use uh, the curly braces for uh, define any object and left side you have to uh, use uh, your key and for key right side you have to assign some value inside key so let uh, i'm going to use uh, name should be person one and also is uh, having is and here i'm going to set for 24. so this is how uh, we can define any object like uh, uh, we can define object using uh, curly braces and simply assign the value inside any variable and object has key which uh, defined should be to the left side you can say its property or key uh, should be of left side and at right side uh, the value for specific key now uh, here uh, I had defined the object now let's see how can you access the property of object so access property of uh, object so uh, you can simply log inside console so i'm going to use console.log and for access the property first of all uh, i need to mention the name of the object so the variable person having uh, uh, the object so i'm going to use person and dot by using dot i can access any property let me access the name of the person and if I simply uh, run this program, you can see I got the output of person one. And if I'm I'm going to access the age of uh, that person, let's see, uh, age is 24. Now this is uh, how can we access the any property of the object? Now uh, let access all keys of object. At some scenario like uh, I need to. Uh, mention like uh, how which keys uh, are defined inside our object so you can simply use here let me erase this one so you can simply use here object dot uh, keys and inside it you need to pass the name of your object so my object name is person here and if i run this uh, program it will return all of key like uh, currently i'm having two key inside the person object name and is let's see there you can see I got an array which having two elements. First one is uh, name and second one uh, is age. Now uh, we can also make check like uh, whether object having this specific key or not. So for this, let me change the command and um, check whether object has a key or not so uh let me delete this one as well here i'm going to use uh, like uh, name of our object first one is person and after that i'm going to use has on property and inside it you, you need to pass the name of key as a string so here i'm going to use is so it will simply return a boolean value if i'm going to run the program so it's saying has on property so here i make uh, this spelling error has on property there, there you can see i got the output true it means is 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 the property of the person and if i'm going to say like uh, whether object having the property of gender or not there you can see uh it simply give me output of false now uh, this is how we see how can we access the property of object or we can uh, validate whether having the object having property or not so uh, now i'll see like how to access how to access value of a key uh, using variable So uh, suppose uh, I need to access the, the value of age. So here I'm going to use uh, let uh, the prop is equal to age. So I need to access uh, this one properties, this one, this property value. So I can simply use here, uh, simply uh, 
erase this one and after that you need to uh, use square brackets and inside it you need to pass the name of uh, the property you want to access and if i use a uh, prop here simply i go to the output of 24 which is correct as the person having is of 24 and if i simply change its property value to the name let's see what happened there you can see i got uh, the name uh, of uh, our person which is a uh, person one now the next topic is how to access the value if the key has space so let me add new property and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's called uh, uh, hobby name and uh, let's say sport, sports. Now uh, inside uh, this you, you can see like we can access the key using uh, key value using a square bracket or we can simply use uh, the dot operator and if I'm going to access like person dot name uh, it giving value of person one and if i'm going to use hobby space name it will give me an error like it will not uh, uh, verifying for which key i'm requesting so what i can do i can simply use here square square bracket so so the key in which you have this space you need to uh, define square bracket for access their value so if I'm going to use here hobby name and simply run this, I need to remove the dot operator from here. There you can see I got the value of sports. Simply I can use uh, this uh, inside uh, the variable as well. And in place of hobby name, I can simply pass the variable name here which is name prop and uh, it will give me the same output as well now uh, we'll see how can you add uh, how to add uh, new property to object so suppose our uh, person object having name is hobby and uh, I need to add uh, the gender as well so what i can do i can use simply uh, the our object name person dot gender is equal to male and uh, if i'm going to access this value person dot gender let's see what will be the output there you can see i got the output as uh, at the time of initialization i have to define any key of gender inside the person object but later on i define a new property uh, add new property to the object person dot gender is equal to male so uh, i got uh, the expected output you can do the same thing like without dot operator you can uh, simply use here square brackets as well so i can if i can simply remove this and inside square brackets I'm gonna use uh, the gender as an key and value should be male and if I gonna run this program I got the same output now uh, how can you delete any key from the object suppose uh, uh, let me object dot keys and inside it I'm gonna pass the name of our object person and if I run this there you can see our person has uh, four keys name is hobby name and gender suppose i want to delete the property or of gender so there i'm going to simply use delete object uh, our name of object person dot uh, the name of uh, the property object dot gender let's see what will be the output there you can see the keys uh, key for, of gender from our pro, uh, from our object has been removed i can remove any key what i want so uh, let uh, remove the is there you can see uh, now object has a uh, three property called uh, uh, name hobby name and gender the is has been removed for now now uh, let's see how can we get the value of uh, any specific key based uh, using function 
so how to get value of a key using function so uh let me remove this code for now i think uh, all of things uh, uh should be clear to you so there i'm going to define a function here i'm going to use function keyword for defining a function and i'm giving it name for get value inside it i'll expect a probe from the user like uh, users can pass the name of key uh, on behalf of that key i'll uh, return the value so here i'm going to use uh, return and after that i'm going to use a uh, name of uh, our object called person and inside this square bracket i'm going to pass the probe here and uh, let's call this function inside our console.log suppose i want to uh, get the value of person is so here i'm going to use uh, get value inside it i'm going to pass the name of uh, the property which i want to access right, so i want to access is here let's run this program there you can see i got the person is which is 24 now uh the there should be a case suppose uh, we are having objects so at the time of development uh, uh, i'm uh, i know like uh, the person object has the following property for now like person has has not property of gender so uh what we can do like if a person has not any property like uh, uh if i'm going to request for gender and uh, we see like uh, let me change uh, the command for here so check check for check for specific key specific keys value and handle if no key exist so i'm requesting for uh gender here and inside object you can see we have any property called gender if i run this program let's see i got the value of undefined so this is uh not uh, uh the good message for the user and like users should expect anything like uh, if there any error or uh, something he is doing wrong so there uh, you can simply pass uh, uh, any value you can simply use uh, or operator here so and after that you can simply pass the message here no key font and if i run this program there you can see if the gender key not found inside the object it's simply written a message called no key font and if i pass the is again there you can see i got the value so it is a well-handed uh, program like if we found the key then simply return the value if we uh, do not found any key then uh, simply return a message so let's move towards our next topic this is access value from the next nested object so it should be access value from nested object so first of all i need to create the nested object here so let me change the person to the object oops i made a spelling error and uh, inside object first one i'm going to create first object and it should have uh, some property and uh, let's give the property for now so name should be name one obs and for hobbies i'm going to give an array so first one it, it has hobby of uh, sport and second of uh, cooking it should be a string as well let's uh, copy this one and by separate with comma i'm gonna paste it and uh, let's change uh, its uh, value from one to two this should be two here and for change the name as well for uh, name should be named to and change its hobby as well dancing 
and uh, called uh, singing. Now I had uh, two object inside uh, uh, OBJ. So first one is first which has some property called name and hobbies and second one has uh, some property called name and name to as well. So I need to uh, access the value. So I need to access the value of uh, the name to uh, for our second uh, second person and I want to access his first hobby. What is first hobby? So how can we approach this one? So let me clear this function first. I don't know I haven't any use for this so uh, to access this one what I'm going to use uh, our uh, object name first so here I'm going to obj and inside object as uh, the indexing start from 0 so for second uh, is lie at uh, first index so for this I'm going to use here uh, square bracket so I'm going to use here one it will uh, refer to the our second object and after that I'm going to use here hobbies so inside hobbies I want to uh, I want first hobby of uh, the second uh, so it, it is dancing so as we know indexing start from zero so hobbies and using square bracket I need to pass uh, the index here so let's run this program so uh it is giving me the value of sport like obj1 and hobbies and index of for this zero as this is an object this is not an array so as we see in previous video by using this square bracket we can uh we can access the specific key of uh, of the object so uh, for now like we have an object and uh, we are having this key this is uh, our first key and it has some value inside value it has some key as well and inside it we have our hobbies so if i simply change key from two then it refer to this key so at inside object if we are using square bracket the value inside square bracket will refer to the property of object refer to its key or you can say property and like inside its property we have hobbies which has value type of array there you can see we have value type of array and inside if we pa i pass the anything so it will work as the index so zero index uh, uh, having the value of dancing so uh, I'll clear this thing that uh, me change this access value from nested array. You will have a better understanding using this and inside it if I pass the one here and in place of uh, curly braces here I'm going to use a square bracket. So let me use here as well for square brackets. Now I have, I do not need this key as well. And uh, here. So I have an array which has two objects inside it. First one is this at zero index, second one is first index. So now if I'm going to use the same statement, say obj1, it will refer to the first index for this. So let me run this program. There you can see I got the value of uh, dancing here and if I write here 0 I got the value of uh, first uh, object hobby sport. So uh, there you know uh, you got the point inside object if, if I want, I'm going to use square bracket the value inside will uh, look for the key or property of the object but in case of array it will it will uh, use uh, the value as the index so our next topic is uh, for uh, pass object using reference and value suppose uh, I'm having the object like uh, let object called uh, person and inside person person having uh, the property of name and called uh, name is uh, name one 
and uh, if I'm going to simply console.log and uh, he, here I'm going to use uh, person dot name so it should out for, for name one and you can see uh, inside console I got the output name one and if I'm going to use another variable called let person two and inside it I'm going to pass person here and here I'm going to use person two dot uh, name oh. is uh, equal to the name two and uh, I'm using the same like a console dot log person dot name if I'm gonna run this there you can see I got the output of name two so by default when we assign object inside any variable or we pass object it's uh, simply use the reference so what I, I can do like uh, I do not want to uh, change uh, the name of person for person one person object it should be changed for person two so I can simply use here json dot parse and inside it I'm going to use json dot stringify inside it I'm going to pass the person here and uh, let's pass it inside it and let's see the output you can see I got the output name to and if I access the value for person two dot name I got the value of name to also uh, we'll look on freeze the object let's uh, freeze object freeze is basically uh, suppose you are having the object uh, having key, some key value inside the object so if you freeze the object you can't change the value of object so let me clear uh, this one here and uh, person can change its name value to the name too and simply run if I run this program I got the value of name too also uh, I can freeze uh, the function of uh, the person object here so I'm I can simply use object to freeze and inside it I'm going to pass the name of our object so here our object name is person so after freeze the object I'm trying to change its new value to the name too and uh, I'm printing this value inside the console let's see what will be the output there you can see uh, after freeze the object the value of uh, name is not changed so you can simply freeze the object for uh, uh, if you uh, show like uh, you do not want to change uh, it uh, your properties uh, value throughout your program so let's move to the next topic in next topic uh, i'll start working with the exercise so i'm going to use uh, here command remove uh, duplicate items from uh, array using uh, object so let me let me create create an array which having some duplicate value and here I'm going to use uh, 1 2 2 again uh, 3 and 5 5 uh, you can write uh, some duplicate number uh, it's uh, all up to you next thing I'm going to use our uh, object for now I'm going to use here uh, only curly braces so I'm, I'm not going to uh, give any key or value inside the object so uh, how we can uh, approach this thing so let's first understand like when we are going to uh, define an object as I told you earlier object basically have the key and the value key should be at left side and value at should be at right side so uh, important thing let me comment the line important uh, object can not have any duplicate key and if there are any duplicate key object will override its value so I'm going to simply give you, you a quick example let uh, uh, dupe duplicate and uh, for this I'm going to give name key name should be name one and next thing here I'm going to use name key again and here I'm going to use value for name two. 
so let me console dot log name of object and i need to get the value of name so let's see what will be the output of this so there you can see i got the value of name too as when i'm going to define a duplicate key inside the object it overwrites the previous value so there should be like a, we have key of name its, it's value is named one when i'm going to use a duplicate key again then it simply overwrite the previous value so object can't have the same value uh, for all keys like uh, so the concept is uh, very simple like uh, we have duplicate uh, number here so if i'm going to define all numbers as the key of object and we know like if object found any duplicate key then it will simply override it on the previous one so it simply return a unique value so let me clear this one and for this i'm going to use for uh, var is uh, equal to zero or in place of var you can simply take let as well uh, both work uh, as sim in same so i less than uh, ar dot uh, length and uh, here i'm going to use uh, i plus plus which will increment the value by one so i'm going to use here obj the name of the object and inside it uh, i need to pass the ar into i and it should equal to ar into i as you see in previous video uh, we defined the key of uh, object using uh, the square square bracket or you can simply use dot operator but at this place i'm going to use square bracket so inside square bracket the key should be ar into i means 0 uh, 1 2 3 uh, up to the length of uh, the array and inside it's i'm going to pass the value of the i whatever the value it has and if i'm going to use here object dot uh, keys and inside obj as you can see in previous video uh, it's uh, return the all of key we have inside the object and if i run this it simply return an array which having all of uh, the key we have inside the object there you can see how i got the output uh, all the values uh, are here unique like one two three five two is duplicate inside it also five is duplicate as well so i got the value of one two three and five here now uh, let's uh, work on uh, our next exercise as well so let me remove this one so next exercise is uh, how to get how to get the value of a key based on a specific key we pass to object or uh, you, you can correct it in place of uh, you can pass to the function as uh, uh, like I, I simply pass the key to the key and value uh, to the function uh, and it will give me the value of another key so let me simplify the problem first let uh, the users i have multiple users let me crack this spelling and a user uh, is an array inside it first of all um, i have the name and uh, i'm going to follow name one next thing i'm going to have is and it should be here I'm going to use uh, for uh, let's call it 20 and uh, I have the next user here so who has uh, having the same property let me copy the property from the above one and simply paste it inside here and in place of name one it having the name two and uh, for a's uh, let uh, I'm not going to give uh, the a's suppose uh, uh, for uh, the name two we have the data of the a's so what i need to do i'll pass um, i need to get the is based on username 
so get the is based on username so i'll pass the value of uh, name to the function and behalf of uh, username it will give me the value of is here so for this uh, i'm going to create a function so here i'm going to use the function keyword and uh, here i'm going to give its name of get is and it should expect accept the username as the parameter so here i'm going to use uh, the username next one i'm going to loop through the length of our array so here i'm going to use a four let uh, i is equal to zero i'm going to initialize i with zero and uh, i less than the length of our array it is users dot uh, length and i plus plus increment by one next thing i need to check like if users into i if users into i dot name since users is an array i will refer to its index and dot name will refer to its property and is equal to username if we, uh, the username we pass to the function is we found the match then it's going to simple return users into i at specific index i need to pass uh, return the age of the user but uh, inside uh, the above object you can see for uh, the name too we haven't any age so how to handle this so if we haven't find any specific key uh, like is so i'm going to pass here no data found for age else if we haven't found any user then uh, let me remove the curly braces here you can simply return here i'm going to uh, write a message here like uh, no user found with this name and let me console dot log and inside should be console.log inside it i'm going to uh, call the function here get is and inside is uh, let me first to pass the name one and if i run this program you can see i got to the as of 20 as uh, the user which has a name one has uh, the as of 20 and if i'm going to pass any name which is not exist uh, in the array like name three you can see uh, i got simply a message no user found with this uh, name so finally i have covered all the important uh, topics related to the object hope uh, you will uh, you enjoyed this video so if you have any suggestion please write in comment box and if you are new please subscribe this channel